in the name of Jesus, please believe this prophecy. Between now and December 2023, I prophesy upon you, come out of that debt. Come out of that financial situation. upon you from this day you will begin to have strange encounters for i see before my face too fine cherubim so let me begin to tell you what the lord has put in my spirit for 2023 now this this is the prophetic ministry giving you an advantage of knowledge yes we are not there yet we are not in 2023 yet but by the Holy Ghost, some of us have lived in 2023, 2024, by the knowledge of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? So you enter Gen January. In the times of trouble, where they seem to get you down All your friends and loved ones Who is Fuka? Around there, who is Fuka? Fuka Is it you? Is that your name? Stand up But there is a friend in Jesus Who will wipe your tears away If your heart is broken just lift your hands and say, I know that I can stand. No matter what I'm facing, my life is in your hands. The Lord said I should speak to some people that should tell you that this day that evil family pattern that thing that everyone is like a sequel from one to another from I'm out. we have to be very careful all right the Spirit of God leads us and guides us but that spirit even in prophetic language, even in prophetic messages, he said to us, two or three of you should prophesy. He said, let the others judge. He didn't leave us to any individual prophecy that is likely to mislead God's people. He said, let the others judge. It's important. So don't say someone gave you a prophecy and that's the prophecy you are following. And so you're going to do what that because the prophecy was uh, was was okay for your mind. You you liked it. It seemed to con correspond with the thing you want to do. So you're going in that light. No, you don't behave like that. Prophecies have to be judged. All right? It's in the scripture. And even the interpretation of scripture. The Bible says there's no prophecy of its own private interpretation. It should not be of private interpretation. This is holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. These are, these are um, perilous times. And the Bible says that the coming of the Lord will not take place until there come first a great falling away. He says many are going to fall from the faith. He says that the Lord will not come until first there is a great falling away from the faith. 
Why? Because he says the kingdom of heaven is as a man that cast a net into the sea and pulled all kinds of fishes. He says both bad and good. And when he brought them to land, he separated the good fish from the bad fish. So as we win souls around the world, all kinds of people come into the kingdom. All kinds come into the, into the house of God. And some will find themselves even in leadership. But how are you going to know? The one that is true from the one that is not. As they grow up, you will know. Because as they mature, you see, while they are young, 